if you're the only one making money in your group, the business won't thrive. So who else needs to earn for it to succeed? You don't have to worry, even if I'm not here, because our culture of service has already been established. The commitment to deliver absolute quality at absolute prices and support distributors is already deeply rooted within us. Is there an employee who would suddenly bring in products costing 300,000 won each while giving out 500,000 PVs? Absolutely none, not from what I've seen. The culture of absolute quality and absolute price will not crumble. It will be passed on to the next generation. There's also a reason why I made Atomy a daily settlement system company. If we're closed today, no one should come tomorrow to collect money. Even in my absence, no creditors should come to collect debts. And no partner company should face difficulties. This is because leaving behind such debts would undermine sustainability. I have lived worrying much more about what will happen to Atomy after I die than anyone or anything else. Even if I die today, I must ensure the company faces no issues, hence the daily settlement system. Even in the early days of Atomy, many people worried about the company. There are people who worry every day, as if the sky were to fall or the earth were to collapse. Focus worrying about your partners rather than the company. Let's say none of your partners are willing to stay upon hearing that Atomy has gone bankrupt, saying, I'm so sick of it. If I think about the stress you brought me as a partner, I wouldn't want to start a business with someone like you again. Then you can consider your business fail. How you are currently doing things is crucial. I have always taken this as my standard. If extraordinary circumstances caused Atomy to fail and you decided to start again, would your partners be willing to work with you again? Or would they say, I don't ever want to work with you again? That's been the basis of my standard of operation. My concern has always been greater than yours in ensuring that this company can function smoothly even without me. So please, just mind your own business. Focus on your line and partners. Let me ask, are you betting for your own commission or for your partner's commission? Some people call betting a challenge, but that's nonsense. There is a huge difference between a challenge and a bet. People are betting to reach their own commission targets. Will the business thrive if only your own commission is high? If you're the only one making money in your group, the business won't thrive. So who else needs to earn for it to succeed? Your partners need to make money. However, the fools sacrifice their partners, leading them to spend money and incur debts, all while focusing solely on their own commissions. That kind of commission is a one-time thing. It won't last. These kinds of people ultimately fail when their partners fail. But then say things like, Atomy doesn't bring in money and the business is tough. I believe that it's fair for them to struggle as they made their partner struggle. Why? They made their partner struggle. Is it fair for them to have a successful business while making others struggle? The challenge 
is to ensure that partners consistently receive commissions. That's the nature of business. The partners should receive consistent commissions. Your partners need to make money. Someone who is solely focused on their own success is narrow-minded. Someone who prioritizes their partner's success is smart. Why is that? Your success depends on your partner's success. That's a fact. Once your partner's commissions start rolling in, you don't have to work. That's what you're working for. That's your job. That's how you earn your retirement. Enjoying economic freedom and time. Forget about your own success. Forget and focus solely on the success of your partners and how you can create sustainable income, consistent income for them.